Hi, and welcome to my analysis for Project 2, and uh, talking about how much I authenticated myself, and basically what I learned from this assignment. So, the first thing I realized uh, during this assignment is it's crazy how much we are actually authenticating ourselves, especially with social media nowadays. It was crazy to me just how many times I actually visited the apps themselves and how much time I spent and all the logins are saved that you really don't realize how much you are authenticating yourself. If you were forced to log in every time and passwords weren't saved, you'd be much more conscious of how much you're authenticating yourself or how often you're actually authenticating yourself. But since it's saved, you just kind of take it for granted, but it's actually insane. It's crazy how much I'm actually authenticating myself, whether it's Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter. We got Outlook, MySlice, Blackboard, so many different apps that I have a login for that I use on a daily basis. Uh, and then when it comes to me using my ID card, uh, I go to the gym quite often, uh, almost every day, so I'm finding myself having to swipe in, authenticate myself for that in person. To Pingo, I order food a lot with my Syracuse card, so I have to authenticate myself in order to get that food. And then my community, I have to use my ID card just to gain access. Uh, I would say that this assignment was similar across the board for most college students because they face the same issues with the Syracuse University card, uh, the social medias. I would argue that I use social media much less than most people, uh, but I still use it a bunch. But uh, I only had a couple hours, I'm sure. Other people in the class probably have like three to four hours per day on Instagram and Twitter. I try to limit myself, make sure that I'm not attached to social media too much. That's something I'm always trying to stay conscious about. Overall, I was very surprised of how much I had to authenticate myself. Normally, you take for granted just casually all these apps that you're logged into, how many times in especially as a student, you have to authenticate yourself. So I think this assignment just made me more mindful and conscious. I, I was just surprised because I would go probably my entire life without thinking once, oh, you're authenticating yourself on Twitter every time you log in. Something I would never think about. But now because of this assignment, I know every time I log in, I'm going to be like, oh, I just authenticated myself. It's just how I'm going to think every time I use something I'm logged in for. So that's very interesting. Something really cool that I think I got out of this assignment. I read a snippet of an article online of uh, Dana Boyd's uh, book, It's Complicated. Uh, this book basically just talks about how much teens are connected and networked, networked through digital media and how much teens are attached to their phone, and basically how much they are constantly using social media, which is all examples of authentication. So this book gives a great insight on how active teens are on the digital landscape and how often these companies require you to be like, hey, I'm Kyle Downs. That's me. Is that you? Especially like emails. Every time I log into an email, I'm getting a notification that's like, oh, can we text you? Make sure this is you. And I do it. And then that's just another example of authentication. We keep authenticating ourselves, and this is a constant reminder of ways we're performing because anytime we log in and say hey it's me Kyle Downs 
I am then from there, whether I comment or something, I'm performing as me. It's all a resemblance of me.